Hello everyone, this is Arash and welcome to this physics tutorial on statistical mechanics. In most physics problems that we are usually dealing with, we want to measure certain properties of a single object, like mass, velocity, electrical conductivity, resistance, and so on. These sorts of solutions are also applicable when we are dealing with two or three objects. We call them coupled systems or feedback systems. But in many real-life physics problems, we are dealing with a greater number of objects. Atoms of gas, free electrons in a conductor, or phonons in a lattice. In such conditions, we have to use statistical mechanics. Statistical mechanics is a mathematical framework that applies statistical methods and probability theory to large assemblies of microscopic entities. A classical approach that comes to play in these conditions is called Maxwell-Boltzmann statics, which comes with a number of assumptions. Particles are identical and distinguishable. Particles can freely occupy a phase cell, which means there are no restrictions in the states that they occupy, and the total energy of the system is constant. This model introduces the macrostate probability as below where Ni represents particles in different energy levels and G represents the number of cells. This helps us to calculate the partition function for Maxwell-Boltzmann statics. The partition function describes the statistical properties of system in thermodynamic equilibrium. This model was successful in describing classical phenomena such as systems of free gases, but unsuccessful in describing quantum phenomena such as black body radiation and specific heat at low temperatures. Such phenomena were successfully explained by Bose, Einstein, Fermi, and Dirac, where they had made use of some new statistics with the help of newly discovered quantum theories. Fermi Dirac statics is a type of quantum statics that applies to the physics of a system consisting of many identical properties obey the Pauli exclusion principles, such as electrons and protons. As a result, each state is occupied with only one particle in fermi Dirac statics. Partition function for such system is given as below. The Boyce-Einstein statics applies to only the particles not limited to single occupancy of the same state, that is, particles that do not obey the Power the excursion principle. Such particles have integer values of a spin and are named bosons. As before, we can describe the macroscopic probability in terms of number of particles in different states of energy and number of available cells. The Boyce Einstein distribution is naturally derived from the Gang canonical ensemble without any approximations. In this assemble, the system is able to exchange energy and exchange particles with a reservoir. As a visual explanation, consider each state as a ball and each particle as a ball. In Fermi-Dirac statics, each ball can be occupied with only one particle. But in Bose-Einstein statics, all the particles, regardless of their identities and properties, go in the first ball. If cooled to really low temperatures, balls lose their identities and seems like they are one big particle. This is called Bose-Einstein condensate, which is a state of matter. This graph shows the comparison of average occupancy of the ground state for three statics. The following table compares three mention statics in full details. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like more videos on physics, please hit like and subscribe button.